Our first guest tonight starred in movies like Billy Madison, and I know what you did last summer. You can currently see her in the number one movie in the country, The Wedding Planner. What are you doing here? Fred! Oh, my God, I'm so embarrassed. I may be a hell of a businesswoman, but when I dance, I look like a retarded string bean. <laughs> <laughs> I thought your class was until Thursday, though. I know, we had to change it. But this is perfect. You can finally meet Eddie. Come here. Eddie. Eddie. Come here. I want you to meet the wedding planner. The two most important people in my life set eyes on one another. Eddie, this is Mary, the wedding planner. Mary, this is my fiance, Eddie. Please welcome Bridget Wilson Sampras. <laughs> Congratulations, number one movie in the country. Yay! Yeah. This is good. It's Thank all because you. of? Well, do we really need to discuss that? I no, think, <laughs> no, I, here's the thing. Everyone's talking, how was J-Lo? I call her J-Lo. J-Lo, yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> but I have a major problem with the premise. It's not believable. If someone's going to marry you, there's no way they're going to get sidetracked. Be a nice lady. Yeah, we. You know what? We had a good time together, but I didn't. I didn't get a chance to know her that well, yeah. to be honest. None of us really do. Yeah. <laughs> J Lo's a mystery. Yeah, J Lo's a mystery. <laughs> what about Matthew McConaughey? He was really fun. We had a good time together. You He's, met him. Um, yeah, I met him, okay. and um, <laughs> every morning. Um, but he's very. He's got such a nice energy about him, a nice presence, and he's really just. Kind of crazy. He's and... crazy, kind of the bongo, naked bongo drum crazy, <laughs> that kind of thing. <laughs> He's a little party guy, right? <laughs> He likes to party a little bit. I don't know. You'll have to ask him that. But, okay. <laughs> but he's really, he's nice. It makes it really fun to work yeah. with. Yeah. How long does it take to film a movie like that? I think it took us about three months. Yeah? Where'd Maybe you shoot it? A little bit today? longer. We were in San Francisco. That's nice. Some of it was yeah. here, but yeah. it was nice. Yeah. Are you surprised it's number one? No. <laughs> no. <Good>. Very confident. <laughs> Congratulations. Pleasantly surprised, yes. if anything. You're, you're the wedding. How long have you been married? I've been married for just over four months now. Four months. Yes. Um, what is it with, why do girls always like tennis players? Why are they always, a, when I was growing up, it was always Yvonne Lendl. I, all the girls like Yvonne Lendl. <laughs> no, it's usually rock stars they like, but what is it, uh, did you know, how'd you meet uh, Pete? Uh, well, it wasn't through tennis. It wasn't because I knew a whole lot about it. I'm learning. Oh, you don't, you don't know about it. <laughs> but I didn't know about it, so it wasn't a tennis Well, all player. the five questions are based on knowledge about tennis, so should we, should we change them? <laughs> I'll really be in the doghouse. Right. Uh, so how'd you meet him? Um, we met, he actually saw a movie that I'd been in. Oddly enough, did I ever think a movie that I did called Love Stinks would find me my husband? No, mm. but <laughs> it did. I, I saw that so. movie. Let's, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. I saw it too. <laughs> so, uh, is that all I have to do? Hey, I, I don't know if this means anything. I, I, I saw it twice. So, <laughs> so then how, how did you guys meet? So that was that. He, um, and then it turns out he was a friend of his knew a friend of mine and got in touch and, and hooked us up. So it was sort of not really a blind date, but the closest thing to a Did blind you know date. Who, who we won? Um, I... You can be I honest did, with me. No one's going to see this. I did... Um, <laughs> Mom... <laughs> um, I did not... Um, a lot of people... A lot of people don't follow... You know, a lot of girls don't follow every sport, you know? Right. So I that's, was big into... Basketball and football, sure. and I wouldn't know anything. The but, real sports, um, right? But, <laughs> I, I am, by the way, I am, I am friends with Pete. We've had him on the show, and I'm a big tennis fan, and I think you he's, are. I think he is, uh, along with Rod Laver, the greatest tennis player of all time. Nice. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I think he has really big okay, calves. Then. I like his calves. <laughs> Thanks. But I am so worried that he will no longer be number one because he's married. What's the motivation? He goes, I don't need to ace. I, gotta, I get to go home to Bridget. That's a really good point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is he still motivated or not? Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. I know that he, he loves what he does, yeah. but 
but I'm definitely going to, you know, rally to keep him home more often. Yeah. <laughs> I will admit Thank that. Thank God he's out of the country now, huh? <laughs> uh, how was the big wedding? Uh, tell them, uh, let's see, who was there? That's in, do you like, do you like uh, that it was in the magazine? Do you like, uh, it was very beautiful. There's, uh, Thank you. Yeah, no, I was really happy. There's Petey, he looks about 6'10 nice there. <laughs> And, oh, yeah, uh, I need to call him Petey, by the oh, way. Oh, yeah, what, what am I supposed to call him, Mr. Sampras? <laughs> or Pete, come on. Yeah. Who calls him Petey, nobody? Just me and Mom. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, knew him, I knew him before you did. Um, <laughs> all right, here we go. That's, uh, what's this? I think you can see that. He, he, uh, this is Elton John. Johnny, Elton Johnny. Ah! <laughs> and he played that? How did that work out? Oh, it was so amazing. He, um, he and Pete know each other and so he asked if he would uh, do that favor so to speak and it was so incredible well that's where the, right there the, the marriage pays off if you got <laughs> if you got Elton John playing at your, your own personal concert yeah that, that's, sure. was uh, was it everything you thought it would be it you know I wasn't one of those people that my whole life sort of had a specific way that it needed to be like oh I need to have this dress and it right. has to be like this so I was so thrilled it was absolutely perfect and I couldn't have asked for it to be any yeah. better tell them where you grew up because I, I found this interesting that you're not you're not a you're a tomboy is what they tell me yes I, I grew up in a town called Gold Beach Oregon it's okay. a small town of like 2,000 people that's small and yeah very small <laughs> that would mean no malls no movie theater what'd you do for so, fun um, we would go out we had three-wheelers we'd take them up in the sand dunes and are those, cruise around are those dune buggies three-wheelers or no, no I know they, what they are I remember. Yeah, instead of the four wheels three although now they're illegal I think because they're not supposed to be safe or something but more fun um, yeah right. <laughs> but it was more entertaining yeah. <laughs> so we would do that and fish and go Clam digging in the morning with dad. Those Outdoorsy. Out, definitely anything, outdoor anything life. but tennis. Yeah. <laughs> right? Right? If we had courts in that city. <laughs> right. It's a fun sport, though, I think, but, right? Uh, you know, my, I, this is why I always used to like watch. watching Pete. I like watching Pete, you know, on Wimbledon and all that kind of stuff, U.S. Open. Mm -hmm. But now it's more fun because the cutaways of his wife going, you know, like this. <laughs> it's always beautiful. Him sweating and then you looking pretty Rich, there. Greg. <laughs> When we come back, five questions with Bridget Wilson. <laughs> back with Bridget Wilson Sanders. I just had fun saying Bridget Nielsen Sanders. Is that obnoxious? Yeah. <laughs> That's silly. You don't like that, do you? No. Yeah, your publicist loves it, I heard. She likes when I say that. Uh, when I was a kid growing up, we, yes. we have something in common. There, I went through a one-year period in fourth grade where I was obsessed with uh, Danny O'Day, a ventriloquist doll. Aha! Uh -huh. did, you, did you like uh, dolls? And... No. Oh. <laughs> you did, I don't know women that do that kind of stuff. Uh, I, I don't either. <laughs> But you were interested. I in rarely event. admit that I know. Um, it was because when I was working on this movie, Beautiful, mm -hmm. I played a beauty contestant. This was her talent, and originally I didn't think that I was actually going to have to do the ventriloquism on my own. Mm. But it turns out that uh, that I did. <laughs> and so you learn the skill. It's fun yes. to. It's fun to try to not move the lips, and it's, then yeah, it's it's hard, and also. I was supposed to be singing, so getting everything back. And first, you're like, oh, you gotta do the voice. You know, like you have to learn a different voice yeah, and then like go back and forth and right. talk. And I'm like, okay, this is great. You know, so it was like this really weird thing. You're good at that, by the way. <laughs> That's good. Because I used to do it. And, uh, yeah. I used to do it. Uh... Hi. Hi, my name. My name is Danny O'Day. My name is Danny O'Day. See? Yeah, is that yeah. good? <laughs> the hardest thing to do in the book, they said, if you say, I know. <laughs> if you say basketball, you know what they say in the ventriloquist book is to use D, which basketball. Oh, yeah. Basketball. Yeah, and but, also there was another. Oh, I can't remember. There was another uh, uh, letter. Remember it. <laughs> I forget. You don't know? I forget. Well, Shoot. M. Use N for M. Oh yeah, yeah. Because how yeah. do you? Yeah. How many times are you going to? How gonna... many times are you supposed to do that? You're, I don't really... yeah, you're yeah. You're much better than I am. <laughs> you are much... That is very good. That's fun. <laughs> we should party. Okay. Five, five questions. I should, I should forewarn you that 
for whatever reason, these are actually kind of tough. So if you get three out of five, you'll be fortunate. Uh, we start with we start with geography on the oh, first no. question. You go to geography. I guess we're gonna find out. What country's Grand Slam has Pete Sampras never won? Oh, um, I can't remember. What a nice, what a nice wife. France. <laughs> Hasn't won. France is yet. the answer. Oh, yeah. yes, yeah. France. We can't accept that. Yeah. <laughs> this one I would not be able to do. And this spell. You worked with Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. Spell McConaughey. Oh no, I can't. Okay. You can. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. M C C O N A U G H E Y. That is correct. <laughs> Uh, five seconds on the clock, please. Five seconds. Mm. In five seconds, name five things you like to sleep in. Go. Uh, sweats, boxers, socks, sweatshirt, and underwear. <laughs> we can't quite accept that. Oh, man. Okay, you need these next two. Okay. <laughs> you're doing, you're, by the way, you're a very good ventriloquist, if that means Thank anything. Thank you. Uh, Pick it, don't say it, but pick a number between one and ten. Okay. Don't say it I yet. It. Okay, you picked it. Mm -hmm. Is this it? No. No? Well, no. No? That is should it, it be? It, it should be. <laughs> yeah. That is correct. Yes. <laughs> Very nice. I don't know. I am so nice. He's hard on She's gonna me. go home and say he's so nice. <laughs> And finally, uh, Andre Agassi had Brooke Shields and Pete Sampras snapped you. If I picked up tennis, do I have a shot with Anna Kornikova? No. That is correct. That is correct. She's yeah. being honest. That three? That's three. Yeah, that was a good score. That was a good job. Thank you. That, this is a trick question. Oh, I got you. Okay. I gave that to you. Nice meeting you. Congratulations on the movie. Thank you. Say hi to him when he gets back in the country. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's Pete. <laughs> Big hand for Bridget Wilson Sanford. <laughs>